Hello friends. Just want to bring you a little short video to let you look at a system that I put together a long time ago. I'm going to point out what, what is what. It's a 1200 watt system. And what this does here, it runs lights that's on outside of my back in my backyard. And right now, if you look at that monitor, it's letting you see that it's charging from the solar panels that I got outside. Uh, I have two batteries connected in series on here, two 12 volt battery, 280 amp hour uh, batteries, two of them come out to 560. So that's what I got connected into this system. And this right here is the monitor, what you're looking at here, that is the monitor. Right beside here is a solar charger. It's an every solar charger. It's a 40 amp solar charger. And I want you to know it's been a real, real good solar charger. I have even crossed up and messed around to turn the uh, power on before I turned the uh, solar panels on. And it didn't burn it up or nothing like that and it still worked. But this here works real good, works real good. So this right here is what you call a solar charge it's heavy duty and it's got big openings where you connect your wires to right here and right here right there you can see that's where the hot wire go at from the battery that's the hot and that's the negative and this wire here is the solar panel negative and the solar panel positive with this inverter you can also hook up a little light switch to it if you want to but this wire right here feeds that monitor, what I showed you from the earlier. Here's a shut off switch that I put in the system to turn the power off if I got to do any kind of maintenance to it. That's the purpose of that. And right here up underneath everything, this is the inverter. It's an amp peak inverter, it's 1200 watt inverter. It's been a good inverter. I have not had any problem with it. it it's, it's been out here in the winter and it's been out here in the summertime. And in the summertime, it get pretty hot out in this building. So what I do, I got a fan, a regular fan that I hook up to it. And when it get too hot in there, the fan automatically come on and keep this system cool. That's what that is right there. Right now I'm running the lights on inside the building and you can see it's pulling 300 and 303 watts. I got, a, I got the uh, lights running off of it. And I also got a refrigerator sitting over here running over. It's not a big refrigerator. It's one of what I call a college dome refrigerator. And it's working real good. And right below here is another charger that I put in the system. I very seldom use it because the sun usually keeps the solar panels good and charged up. So that's what that is right there. It's a charger. And as you can see to the left of here, this is the switch to turn the solar panels on and off. And I'm gonna show you how that work. Right now, the solar panels are on. And I'm gonna switch over here and turn this switch off. You can see the light blinking. So that lets you know that the sun is charging the batteries. I'm gonna turn it off. When I turn it off, watch what happen. It's steady blinking. So that's letting you know no more piece PC PV is coming in from the solar panel because I disconnected it. But just as soon as I turn it all back on, it'll work. But this right here is the battery. That's telling you your battery. So with this system here, as long as you that is lit up battery, you know it's connected to battery. But if it's red, that means your battery is getting real low. I'm gonna turn the solar panel back on. Just turn it back on. See how it went back to blanking. And at the same time, there's a little monitor there to tell you the percentage of the batteries. They ain't, they ain't 4.5%. I was pro reprogramming that uh, monitor a few minutes ago, so I just gotta wait till the batteries get on up to charge. I think right now the batteries, when I looked at a few minutes ago, they're about 85% charge. And the sun is coming in and out here, but it's cloudy. So this is one of the second systems that I ever put together. It was spearmint. I know it looked a little tacky, but it still works. And these buttons down here, when I had everything hooked up, 
there's lights that I put into this system. And you can see, see how the lights come on? That was something fancy that I was messing with when I first started it. But that's what that controller lights. And there's also a switch, remote switch that I can actually turn the lights different colors. But that's how that works. You can see the lights blinking right now. I'm gonna turn that switch back off. See the lights went off. There's another switch. And with that switch, there's another switch there. As you can see, see how it lit up? I'm gonna put the lights back on. And I'm gonna push this other switch and you can see how what, what that was. Like I said, this is my second system that I put together. I'm just letting y'all know. The uh, reason I'm showing this video is letting you know, you know, all this was experiment when I first started it. And my first system, it took a little longer to do it for the simple reason because I was reading and watching videos at the same time. But at the same time, I wanted something different. So that's what all of these are. And this switch right here, it controls the plugs here. And you can see it's showing 13.3 volts. And on this, you can plug in a USB here and a USB there into that one. And on the ones beside of it, same setup. See there, same setup. That's a that's a that's a, a, a C C plug and that's a USB plug there. So like I said, this was something I was messing with, but I enjoy building this. This is a nice, this system right here kind of got me into it more and more. Once I got everything hooked up, seeing how it worked, I was impressed. And right here is a cigarette lighter plug where you can plug your cigarette, light, you know, something that runs up, take a cigarette light plug. And also here's another plug, C and a USB. And like I said, you can see the voltage on both of them. You can actually turn that one on and off. So that's, that's what it was. If you look in the back of this, there's a lot of wires behind this board here. But like I say, everything is neat. And I'm going to turn the turn the lights back off. See, it went off. And as you can see, the lights are still blinking on the uh, on the back side. And on the side here, right there, that's the, that's the plug that plugs into the lights. I got a switch here. But this switch here, what that does, that turns this on and off. If I can remember correct. No, it ain't working right now. But that's what I was at. There was another one of these. I had two of these here. No, I had. I know what it was. I had two inverters on here. I had one here and I had one there. And the reason I did that was because I'm a firm believer in having a backup on a backup. And the whole purpose of that is if this one went out, I can just move my plug and I can plug it into the bottom one. Let me turn these lights off. So that was that. And let me show you one more item I got with this. Here up top, this is what you call a transfer switch. And what this does, when the batteries get real low, get real low, it automatically kick on and switch the power from the inverter, which is here, and pull the power from the grid, what it would do. But my grid is pulling, not from the grid like your power company, my grid is pulling from another solar source that's coming from my house that I got wired up in here. So as I was saying earlier, a backup on a backup. So I got everything wired into the panels here. And as you can see, I got a little sub panel here. And the way I got two sub panels here. I got two sub panels here. That way, if I want to run the building off of this inverter, all I got to do is push this on like it is. And if I want to push this on and turn this one off and this one right here what this one does is pull power from the grid or as i said my other solar system that's in my in my garage but right now i got it off and i got this one on but you gotta turn this off first before you turn this on and you gotta turn you gotta turn this off first before you turn this one on and then you got a vice versa. If you don't, you're going to blow something else. You're going to blow something up. I hope it don't sound too confusing. But I just wanted to make a little video. Because I had made a video here lately about my solar system. I got some more in the work. And I got three more systems that I'm going to put together. And just as soon as I get them together, I'm going to make a video of it. So I just figured I'd show you guys this little system that's working. And you can install something like this in your building. 
and like i say this right here runs directly by itself it don't pull power from a other source this is a system that's all by itself and like i said i got two batteries on this system i'm gonna show you what the batteries look like here's the two batteries that i got hooked up to this system a two 12 volt 200 amp hour batteries and like i say both of them are connected positive to positive negative to negative and i'm running power through both of those sources so that's how this system is connected and like i say it'll run some lights i got on outside and a deep i mean a deep freezer but a refrigerator in here it'll run without a problem but it never goes below 80 percent on the batteries before the sun come up the next day and it's charging everything right back up so that's what's going on right now. These are the solar panels that I got running that system there. And uh, you can see it is, they like I say 12 volt solar panels, but I got them connected from positive to negative, positive to negative. And right now the sun is not out, but right now they are feeding the system as you can see. And the solar panels that behind it, these right here is feeding my inverter that's inside the garage. That's what those are feeding right now. What I did, I just built a lean-to on the front of my little building. And when I put that out there, I just came out and it works great. Cause what it does it help keep the rain off of me if I want to come out here and do something. But that's the whole purpose of that right there. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel. I know it look a little messy in here, but it served a purpose. And I usually make things a whole lot neater than this. But like I said, this is my second system I put together. And I don't spend a whole lot of time back out in this building because I don't have no air conditioning in here. But when I do come out here and check it, everything is working perfect. Just like you see, I don't have to wash this. I don't have to do nothing to it. It's like I say, it's like clockwork. It automatically performs without a problem. It charge the batteries up during the daytime as you can see right now even though we don't have much coming in for the simple reason because it's cloudy outside but it charges the batteries up which i showed you earlier and at the same time i got my lights on in the garage and my refrigerator running and right now the refrigerator must have turned off because it's not pulling that much power right now but like i say great system anyone can put this together anyone I'm just trying to show people how to get prepared for when the grid do go down. Even if you don't have this connected to your system where it's running all the time, at least if you can say, well, I got a backup. I can just go out there and turn it on and uh and I can keep some lights going and keep my battery, keep my uh keep my battery charged up with the solar panels. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel, give me the likes, and share it with someone else. And also, while I'm talking, I'd like to thank all my subscribers. I didn't have but a few subscribers from the beginning, but I am impressed with the subscribers that I have. And I appreciate you subscribers. If it wasn't for my subscribers, I wouldn't continue to do this. I'm trying to post different things. I know I got car shows on my channel and all that. And I want to separate them to put them different. But I feel like if I keep them the way they are, I can get more subscribers and more views because... To be monetized on YouTube, you gotta have, I think, I think it's 4,000 watch hours, and I'm a long way from that. So I just appreciate you all who are looking at the videos. And I just ask when you do look at them, at least look at them through all the way through the end. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.